All right, we made it to Golden, Colorado. I was at the Dirty 30 50K yesterday filming, making a vlog, trying to make a little highlight reel. I think they turned out pretty good. Have you seen them yet? Oh man, just a lot of beauty up in the mountains. Well, uh, somehow uh, they were. I got my hands on this 10% off. Uh, even though I didn't run, somebody handed it to me, so hopefully I can use it. It's a running shoe store in, Col in uh, Golden called Runner's High, and it's, you know how I like, I like competition in the running shoe marketplace. Uh, sometimes I buy online, but if I can support the little guys, the little running shoe shops, I think that's really, really critical for keeping competition high uh, within the running shoe space. I, I, I say this all the time, but I'm gonna keep driving that point home because um, if we if we are only buying from running warehouse uh, all these running shoe shops these little local ones will die off So anyway, I'm excited to support runners high today Thank you for this 10% off discount and I will get you their address here in a second uh, But anyway, we're in Golden, Colorado, and uh, let's go in and see if we can't pick up some shoes Oh man, come on <laughs> Even though I can't test them right now because I'm still in the booth It's a tough size. Yeah, see, I'm I'm the same way, so I'm an eight. So, oh, really? Okay. Um, so you've so been you kind of on the bubble. You kind of been through it. As well. Yeah, yeah. It's a new, re newly renovated building in Golden. This is sweet. It looks awesome. I love the shelving here. All right, we're gonna try some eights on. Let's do this. All right, Alex is taking care of me. Right? No, you're you're Max. 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 Alex is the other gentleman. Yes. Oh, did I just take this seat? No, no, you're good. Are you sure? Is he? Okay. Okay. Okay, so here's the men's starter. I've never tried a shoe with, uh, I can only try one shoe on, so it's kind of funny. I'd and I, sometimes I put Spenco in just to fill the shoe a little. Gotcha. And give a little extra cush. Mm -hmm. But, um, you know, it's a tough, and then, anyway, I'll just give it a, give it a shot here. So how long have you been working here? A lot of folks raving about the Hoka Torrent, so we're gonna give it a try. The Pegasus 36 in women's nine was just a little too narrow, uh, but man, it's fun to just geek out. And this, this place is like the best selection of trail running shoes, I would say in the Denver area, just so you know. Amazing a volume of different types, ultra, uh, really, almost every every brand, every company out there. So, um, all right, Hoka Torrent. Maybe even the Speed Goat, we shall see. Nice. Max is taking care of me. <laughs> all these different shoe sizes, we're just trying. And Ultra runs a little wide overall, right? Yeah, definitely. And through the toe box, so maybe the eight and a half. Hi, Max. This is a new location for Runner's High. Where, uh, where are we located? What's the new address here? So it's 2221 uh, Ford Street, Okay. just about half a mile out of like the main um, downtown Golden. Okay, nice. So come come check them out. It's a, they just renovated this sweet building and uh, I just saw your 30% off uh, wall back there. Pretty amazing deal. So come check them out and uh, all right, Ultra Tim, let's buy these. <laughs> Sweet man. The box and you're all set. Appreciate it. I always get a high five to the uh, people helping me. Yeah. And Max watches the vlog, so thank you, man, for reaching out. Yeah, of course. Appreciate it taking care of me. And uh, I'll be back. Awesome. Sound good? Yeah. Yeah, love this place. So here it is, one more time. Boom.
Uh oh, another ultra shoe. Are you noticing ultras kind of working its way into the rotation a little bit more these days? So I'm excited. Again, it's the women's sizing, and uh, ultra is such a wide, like they're known for wide shoes, wide toe boxes. So the women's size, it actually works better for me, and I'm not afraid of their uh, women's colorway. So, all right, back to the house. Oh, let's fire up the grill. Butter my bread, butter my bread. Oh, grilling season has commenced. good oh so good nothing like grilling season oh my goodness that steak was divine and a shout out to all the fans of charcoal grills that's how i grill i just love the slower and i think i think the food really does taste better it's an art form like it's a lot different than using a gas grill so shout out to all the charcoal grillers out there grill masters i should say it's just like nothing like a sunday afternoon chilling out nice and easy just like it took it was about a two hour process which i realized like not everyone has that kind of time but on a sunday afternoon that's what i like to do in the summertime so anyway it was fun to fire it up again and it was also fun to go to runner's high today in golden colorado shout out to max thank you for taking care of me max and okay the ultra temps 1.5 um let's see so I was on the fence a little. I was I was going in actually for the Pegasus 36s, but uh, they didn't have my size, and the women's was just a little too narrow. But Ultra is known for wide shoes, wide toe boxes, and so actually the the ladies version is fine with me. Uh, and I went with the Timps over the Lone Peaks because I wanted just a little more uh, cushion, a little more uh, yeah midsole cushion for my recovery days out on trails. That I'm just bopping along, just like uh, Mount Falcon. When I'm not going fast up Mount Falcon, that this will be the shoe that I use on Mount Falcon to work on some leg strength, foot strength, stretching out the calf, stretching out the Achilles. Uh, again, you guys know, like I'm not a big fan of zero drop for fast days, uh, racing days. I just think there's, I like a higher drop for faster runs and racing. But let's pull them out of the box here. There they are. I'm actually, the, the colorway is kind of growing on me. I must say, it's not too shabby. So there it is, a little orange and uh, purple. Uh, and so, and so tonight, I'm not going to give you all the specs, actually, like the, the drop, you know, the drop, uh, but the stack height, I'm not going to break down the upper. Oh yeah, that was the other thing. The Lone Peaks, the Lone Peak upper, I struggle with. And if there's anyone out there who's a Lone Peak fan, I just struggle with like that. It, it feels like there's too many overlays and eyelets for the Lone Peak, whereas the Timp is a little more simplified and a little more nimble. And anyway, so I, again, I, I it just felt much better on the foot today in the store. And of course, uh, before I officially keep them, I will take them on the roads just in front of my house and jog in them once I am out of this boot and I can put them through just some gentle paces before I make the final decision because obviously in the store today, I was unable to uh, jog in them. Keyword is gonna be grill. And the question of the day, nothing to do with running. That's right. What is, now? oh, this is a good one. Well, I guess it kind of has something to do with running your favorite summer meal, okay? And I would say 
If you could hone it into grilling, that would be amazing. And actually, let's do that. What is your favorite summer meal on the grill? And it could be vegetarian or meat. Obviously, you associate meat with uh, grilling, but maybe you have like a good uh, put a shrimp on the barbie type. Of <laughs> so yes, what is your favorite meal on the grill in the summertime? That would be amazing. And if you can specify it to runners, that's even better. All right, seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow. Here we go. Here we go.